Hello all of you lovely listeners and welcome to another video here on Lily Budgets. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Lily and I am so thankful that you have clicked on this video and are here to spend some time with me today. I am a 22 year old cash budgeter and stuffer and I'm currently living at home while I save to move out on my own. So if that sounds like content that may interest you, I hope that you consider hitting that subscribe button and sending some support my way. Welcome lovelies to the final video for the month of May and the first June cash stuffing. I hope you all had a wonderful Memorial Day yesterday. We spent the whole day on the lake with family and it was absolutely wonderful. Um, if you are not following me on Instagram yet, it is just at Lily Budgets over there as well. And I posted about the Memorial Day sale going on right now. So it went live yesterday and will run through the end of the day today. So um, check out my Etsy shop if you are interested in anything. June's budget booklets are up as well as some new envelopes. And also quickly before we start, I wanted to thank you all again so much for bringing our family up to 2,000 subscribers. It still amazes me that 2,000 of you have joined along in this journey with me. I cannot thank you enough for the support. Um, and stay tuned to the end of the video for more information on the 2K giveaway, which will be going live starting in this video. So I'm not going to put giveaway in the title. Um, I did mention it briefly in Sunday's video. Oh my goodness, the sun just went behind it cloud or something and I'm sorry if the lighting kind of fluctuates um but um I, I do want to try to keep this a little smaller and hopefully you know it doesn't get too wacky down in the comments but without further ado let's get right into the stuffing we should have 380 what 834 dollars here because we did leave five dollars in the bank for my suntan membership which honestly i should probably cancel because i mean i might as well it's just frozen right now but anyway let's give this a quick count so we have 100, 200, 253, 350, 370, 390, 410, 30, 50, 70, 90, 510, 30, 50, 70, 90, 600, 710, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 800, 805, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, and 34. So perfect. 834. How are you guys doing? Let me know down below. I did want to quickly thank everyone who watched and commented on Sunday's video. It is really comforting to know that others of you have felt similar things during your budgeting journeys and um, it's really sweet to know that so many of you are supportive and caring enough to send encouraging thoughts and tips and um, honestly this community is, it is incredible. Oh my goodness, I forgot how many fives I had. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I'll say it a thousand times over and I am so grateful for you guys. Um, and for everyone who asked, I am going to try to put together some sort of apartment hall or apartment tour, maybe closer to when I move in and um, <clears throat> talk to you guys about like the shopping experience and some prices of things maybe if you're interested i don't know <laughs> but we are going to start this right off with my wallet so we are pretty empty in here to be honest um you know I'm completely empty <laughs> um except for 
Yep, we are completely empty. All right, that's great. I did just have to empty it out today, like just before I filmed because I had to pick something up for my mom. She is going to pay me back in cash. So whatever bills she gives me, I'll just put into uh, my like $1, $5 savings challenge, however that is off camera. Um, but gas is going to get 50. We do 20, 40, 45, and 50 for gas and I cannot wait to move in and not have to budget this much because I live, his apartment is like two, three minutes away from both of my jobs. So for food, we're going to add 50 and did I do five tens for that? No, I did a 20, two tens and two fives. So let's double check. 20, 40, see that's why, what? Oh, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. What did I just do, you guys? What did I do? <laughs> Completely miscounted. Okay, but there's 50. Look at me throwing myself off. And then for miscellaneous, Instead of our normal five ones, I did two fives to give myself just a little bit extra wiggle room in here. And then I don't have any extra ones. I do have some receipts though. If you guys are not using Fetch yet or if you have heard every budgeter on YouTube talk about it and you have yet to download it, I highly suggest that you do. Um, I'm just about to cash out another Amazon gift card so that I can get a like portable like hanger cart. Thing. I'll put a picture up, I can't think of it, but like for our closet, for clothes and stuff. Um, and it, it's honestly, you just take pictures of your receipts, they give you points, which you build up, and then you redeem for gift cards to pretty much anywhere you can possibly think of. It works. I'm telling you, I... I'm not going to go too far into it, but definitely use my code when you sign up and scan your first receipt. You'll get 2,000 points, which is equivalent to $2. You basically get $2 just for signing up. So do not miss out on that. But we are going to jump right over. 10 in there to our sinking funds. If you missed Sunday's video, I did add some new envelopes in here and swap some out. So Mr. Franklin's envelope has turned into Franken said because when I move in, we will be like splitting the food and bills and whatever both of them need. Um, but I have this one, which is just so cute. And these envelopes are available in my shop. And then my little ace of hearts just got a new envelope as well. So Franken said they are getting 40 this week. I didn't update any of my trackers. So there's that, <laughs> but they have 50, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, and 68. So 168, is that right? Yeah, I guess so. So, oh yes, because I did um, get him, I got Franklin a new bark collar. Um, we had one that had like a remote, but he honestly is just the barking is an issue. So he needs something that's like barking activated. It doesn't shock him at all. It will beep at him and then there'll be like a light vibration. But honestly, having the collar on him at all scares him enough to not bark, hopefully. Knock on wood. So, but yeah, don't be worried. I, I promise anytime he like if it were to hurt him, it would break my heart and I would take it right off of him. Um, but he does need, he does need to control his little, his little chihuahua side barking. But anyway, Austin is going to get 30. And so he has 150, 70, and 180. Parents are not getting anything this week 
but medical is going to get 15. If you guys have any ideas for Father's Day gifts, like cute little unique Father's Day gifts, let me know because I am kind of struggling on that. But in medical, we have 50, 60, and 65. And then car care is going to get 10. And we have 1, 2, 300, 350, 370, 380, and 385. And then Pamper is not getting anything, and neither is Tattoo or Jim or gifts this week. But Christmas is going to get 20. We are not having any cash in here, but we are going to add 20. And I will cross this off, and hopefully, this month will be the last month that we need to stuff 20. So we have $520. 500 is in the bank with Ally. Personal is not getting anything, but travel is going to get 25 today. So 20 and 5. And we have 100, 200, 250, 270, and 275. In travel, and then we are not stuffing a rollover, and that is it for our Sinky Funds binder. And then next, we are going to go over to our business binder quickly because some of our funds this week are from Etsy. So, taxes is going to get $72, so 50. 70, 71, and 72. And in taxes, we have 1, 200, 250, 300, 37, no, 300, 320, 330, 31, and 32. So 332 is in taxes. That builds it up. That builds it. That builds up very quickly. We're not stopping shipping or equipment, but we are going to put $10 into supplies, and I did drain this because I re-upped a bunch of stuff that was that I needed. <laughs> so there is that. And then Lily Budgets is going to get $10. And we have 50, 70, 90, and 100. So Lily Budgets is fully funded for our 2K giveaway, which again, I will talk about at the end of the video if you're interested. So that is it for our business binder. And then also in my last video, we unstuffed my move out binder and turned it into my new apartment binder. And we added new envelopes. Um, and when we filled out my weekly minimum sheet together, I said that I wanted to try to put $25 towards utilities each week, but I think I'll be okay not doing that until I actually move in because I do have $200 buffer saved for utilities already. So this week, we are going to be stuffing decor and we are just going to put $5 in here. I still haven't made a tracker. And we have one, two, three hundred and five. Oh my goodness. In decor. And <laughs> um, I guess I can do a quick little update for you guys in here. My mom and I did go shopping and we got some super cute things and it felt so good spending some money. <laughs> so, um, and my mom was gracious enough to help me out a little bit and she got me some items that, you know, 
I mentioned I liked as we were walking around and I didn't know if I wanted to actually buy them. She would sneak them into her cart. It was so sweet. So thank you, mom. Shout out to you. You're seriously the absolute best. She definitely helped me significantly in this process and I am, I am forever grateful for you. Um, but quickly, I'll just show you what I spent. Didn't spend anything out of um, utilities or toiletries. I didn't touch the 500 for furniture. I just left that in the bank. In decor, obviously, we're down to 305. And then essentials also has $300 left of the 500. I think I spent around 600 or so dollars at TJ's. I don't know what's in miscellaneous. Did I spend anything out of here? One, two, three, fifty, four. Yes, so I spent a hundred out of miscellaneous as well. So yeah, not too bad. Um, but overall, I definitely did. I definitely still have some money to play with and keep having little mini shopping sprees until it comes time to move in and then especially at that point when I can see like once I moved in when I can see what I've missed and what else I could use etc so that is it for our apartment binder today and then for our big girl binder here we did add some new categories as well and Again, you know, if you missed Sunday's video, I will be budgeting this month as though I have already moved in and uh, just kind of getting some practice. So, let's see. Okay, so rent will be getting 135 today. So that is 100, 20, 30, and 35 going into rent. And the utilities is getting $50. And that will be all that she has so far. And then car is not getting anything. Car insurance is going to get 20 And that will be all that it has. Registration is going to get ten dollars. So we have one hundred, twenty, thirty, forty, and forty-five. And we should definitely hit our goal by the time we need to renew this in August. And then phone is going to get fifteen. And that will be the first time that we sub it this month. Annuals is going to get five today for my annual Sam's Club membership. We have 50, 70, and 75. We are so close to fully funding this, and then I don't have to worry about that extra five dollars every week until February of next year. Technically, I could be stuffing like two to three dollars a week, but it's easier to just put five in there. Best Buy is going to get 25. Credit card is going to get 15. I know the bills are kind of, there isn't very much to discuss when stuffing them. Student loans is going to get $100, so now we have $1,100 if we include the $1,000 buffer that I have in the bank with Ally, just in case. And then I finally made a first home envelope. I think it is so cute. So first home is going to get 50. I do still have to make a tracker for it. But we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and 50 dollars. 
in Dream Home. This is just saving up for the deposit on my first home. Did I say Dream Home? I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna have to get used to it. It was Dream Home. It is now First Home. So I might I might flip flop between the two. Savings is going to get 25, and we have 500 in the bank. Six. Goodness gracious. 500, 600, 700, 720, and 725 in savings. And manifest is going to get 20. Don't hate me, you guys, please. I'm sorry I didn't clean off my savings challenge tracker. I will do that by next week's video, but and we'll just catch up. But we're adding $20 to start this over. We have 500 in the bank, and we are at 520 in manifest, starting the challenge over because we did complete it last month. And then emergency is not getting anything, extra debt is not getting anything, but our 52, sa 52 week savings challenge, goodness. We are slowing down on this a little bit. We're trying to make this one less of a priority. So we have 17, which has been used. I'm going to cross off 16, has been used, you know what I mean. So 10, 15, 16 and $17 and in 52 weeks we have 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 910, 15, 16, and 17. 900 and 17 dollars. We didn't add anything into our one dollar savings. That is fine. Completely fine. That money is made, not made, it is meant to be spent, so that's okay. So that is it for our Big Girl Binder. And then quickly before we get into the giveaway stuff, I don't know how it happened, you guys, I honestly don't, but I have so much change this week, like an absurd amount. I think I found some somewhere, I don't even know. So... Yeah, it's not even gonna. Okay. So, this is just nuts. So, there's that. And we're gonna add this on. Okay, perfect. So, that is our coins. And now we can get into the giveaway. So thank you again so much, you guys, for your support. I cannot believe that there's 2,000 of you guys that have clicked that button and supported me. If you have yet to do that, you can hover over my face in this bottom corner here, or you can, of course, just click the big red subscribe button, click the notification bell so you are notified when I post. I post every Tuesday and some Thursdays, some Saturdays. Um, but yeah, so to thank you guys, I do want to do another giveaway for this giveaway in particular. It will be the electronic Etsy gift cards. I'm not going to do like a physical one yet, but that will definitely be in the next giveaway. So I will be giving away four, four $25 electronic Etsy gift cards. So there will be four winners all that you have to do to enter, you guys, is like this video, be publicly subscribed to my channel, it's in your YouTube settings, but basically I just have to be able to see that you are subscribed to me, um, and then leave one comment down below with anything that you'd like, whatever you want to say, as long as it includes the 
yellow heart emoji. Okay, that is my favorite emoji. As long as your comment includes the yellow heart emoji, you will be entered. If you do, you know, have interest in entering, please include your Instagram handle. If you don't have Instagram, um, I'll just need some way to contact you to get your email, but that's fine. We can figure it out. Um, but if you have Instagram, leave your handle in that as well. Of course, if you're not comfortable with that, that is fine. We'll figure it out. But I just want to give back to you guys. I want to thank you guys and I want to support the small business businesses on Etsy, you know, and I thought that this would be a great way to do it. So all you got to do, you got to like this video, you got to be publicly subscribed to my channel, and you got to leave one comment in the description. The comments of this video um, with whatever you'd like with the yellow heart emoji it can be just the yellow heart emoji honestly if you want um, and then some way for me to contact you with either your email or your um, YouTube oh my gosh your Instagram handle or something like that but that does wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for supporting me, for engaging with me. I just appreciate every single one of you and I can't say that enough. So um, with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day, week, month, year. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.